Have you ever wondered how a traffic signal ends up at a certain intersection? And who decides? The Florida Department of Transportation is responsible for the placement and installation of traffic signals on state roads. These signals are designed to keep every driver and pedestrian safe and to keep traffic moving smoothly. Traffic signals control the flow of traffic at intersections that have too much traffic to regulate themselves. Traffic signals must meet certain standards and must be properly designed, installed, located, operated, and maintained to improve road safety for drivers and pedestrians. Florida Department of Transportation must consider many factors before installing a traffic signal. These include the number and types of crashes, number of drivers, and wait time when making a left turn, the total number of vehicles going through the intersection at various times of the day, the speed limit, the proximity to other signals, and road conditions, such as whether there are hills or curves. Why all the considerations? Because traffic signals placed at the wrong location can actually increase the chance of crashes. An engineering study is conducted to ensure the traffic signals are justified. Improper or unjustified traffic signals can result in drivers and pedestrians experiencing excessive delays, congestion, and even an increase in crashes. Once FDOT decides a signal is needed, it determines what type of traffic signal is best for the flow of traffic and for driver and pedestrian safety. You're familiar with a basic traffic signal, solid green meaning go if it is safe to do so, solid yellow meaning prepare to stop, and solid red meaning stop. But in 2011, a new signal indication, the flashing yellow arrow, was introduced by FDOT. This new signal is placed over left turn lanes and displays a flashing yellow arrow. A flashing yellow arrow lets drivers know that left turns are permitted, but drivers must yield to oncoming traffic, then proceed with caution. Too often, drivers making a left turn can easily misinterpret a solid green signal as giving them the right of way. A flashing yellow arrow is more easily understood, meaning look for and yield to oncoming traffic before you turn left. Studies by the Federal Highway Administration show that the flashing yellow arrow may minimize crashes at intersections. It lets drivers know when they are protected from oncoming traffic and when they must yield. A flashing yellow arrow helps move more traffic through an intersection, providing flexibility in traffic management options, and is a low-cost safety measure actually helping to prevent crashes. FDOT continually monitors traffic flow and signal operation to ensure that drivers and pedestrians remain safe. FDOT's top priority is making sure that drivers and pedestrians of all ages can safely share the road. Help FDOT eliminate pedestrian fatalities. Do your part. Obey traffic signals. FDOT's top priority is making sure that drivers and pedestrians can safely share the road. Pedestrian crosswalks are installed for many reasons, the most important to help pedestrians safely cross busy intersections and roadways. You have most likely seen pedestrian signals with push buttons and some without. Why is that? If traffic volume is low, pedestrians may experience unnecessary delays while waiting for a pedestrian signal to allow them a safe crossing. Traffic and pedestrian signals are often synchronized to maximize safety conditions for drivers and pedestrians. If traffic volumes are heavy, a solid green traffic signal can be too short to allow for a pedestrian to safely cross. In these cases, the push to walk button extends the length of time of the green signal. Allowing for adequate time for cars to move through the intersection and pedestrians enough time to cross. Each pedestrian crossing signal has three easy to understand messages. A steady walk display or a constant symbol of a walking person means that you may enter the roadway and begin crossing. 
A flashing don't walk display or a flashing symbol of an upraised hand means that it is not safe to begin crossing the roadway. Any pedestrian who started their crossing during a steady walk display and has partially completed their crossing when a flashing don't walk indication displays should continue to cross the intersection. You may also see a countdown pedestrian signal that displays the number of seconds remaining to safely cross the roadway, eliminating the need to guess how much time remains for a safe crossing. A steady don't walk display or a constant symbol of an upraised hand means you should not begin to cross the intersection as conditions aren't safe. Remember, these messages are synchronized with traffic signals providing you with the appropriate time to safely cross the street. Since cars normally move faster than pedestrians, the time needed to cross the intersection is less for a car than for a pedestrian. If you don't push the button, the signal does not realize a pedestrian is crossing and you will not be given enough time to cross before traffic is given a green light. Even though pedestrian signals indicate when it is safe to cross the roadway, there is no guarantee of safety. You should always remain aware of cars on the roadway. Remember to always use common sense when crossing a roadway. The following suggestions will help keep you safe. Before crossing a signalized intersection, always push the pedestrian signal if one is present. This guarantees adequate crossing time. If no signal is present, cross as soon as the traffic in front of you stops for a red light. Always pay attention and watch for possible traffic turning in front of you. By law, cars have to yield to pedestrians who are legally crossing. Cars often have many distractions and often do not see pedestrians. Always look and listen to ensure you are crossing in the safest way possible. FDOT's top priority is making sure that drivers and pedestrians of all ages can safely share the road. Help FDOT reduce crashes by following traffic signal rules. Use traffic and pedestrian signals wisely and make safety your top priority. Safety doesn't happen by accident. Remember, alert today, alive tomorrow.